Hey, everybody. Nice to see you. What's up? Oh, yeah. I looked right at you. You looked away. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm going through a lot. Uh, right now, my barber told me that my hair is less dense here in this area uh, than it is on the rest of my head, so it's all over. Uh, I'm 24 and I'm balding. I'm just done. I'm done bettering myself. I don't have like a job or anything. This is it for me, you know? That, I'm done bettering. That, sh that shit is stupid. Like people, people will do weird things to better themselves, like exercise. I'm not doing that. I'm fine, you know? Like, you know, like the gym isn't fixing your shitty personality. It doesn't do that. It just makes you like a bigger annoyance. And <laughs> people pick up hobbies for selfish reasons. Like I got a friend, he's taking pottery classes uh, alone. I've just never been that horny in my entire life. <laughs> like I never got to the end of Tinder and was like, you know what, I think I should meet women near a kiln. I'm not gonna I was going to therapy, but then I don't have benefits, so I stopped doing that. And because my therapist asked me a stupid question, he was like, what's one thing you would change about yourself? I was like, that's your fucking job. <laughs> what am I doing here? My back is sweating on this leathery couch. I have to do your job for you. And I don't think you can change things about yourself just because I learned this life lesson a couple years ago when this lady, she threw her baby off the Capilano suspension bridge. Uh, it's like a really nice bridge. It's really, it's nice. Like you would take your family there. Like it's, it's scenic. Take a photo, you post that online, you're getting like 50 to 55 likes. It's a good, it's a really nice bridge. She threw her baby off it. I don't know how she threw it. I don't know if it was overhand, like, I don't know, I, like, I wasn't, I wasn't there personally, I would've chest passed the baby, but I would've, I would've chest passed, but I'm a, all about fundamentals, I'm a fundamental guy, I would've chest passed, I would've chest passed the baby, but she threw her baby off the bridge, and then the baby survived. Yeah, so just, it's, it's just like, sometimes you just can't change shit. Uh, about, your, like, maybe you're just the way you are, and you can't. I've had struggles in my life. Like, I've never been thrown off a bridge or anything, but I didn't have Wi-Fi for a month, and that was pretty hard. Uh, I did crazy, I did crazy stuff without Wi-Fi. I did crazy stuff, like I bought a puzzle. That, that's insane to buy a puzzle. Like, nobody buys a puzzle. Like, puzzles just show up. You know, puzzles are just there, but I bought my own puzzle. Uh, it's a cool puzzle. It was a cool moment for me. It's got, like, animals on it eating cheesy pizza. Uh, it was a 1,000 pieces. It took me five hours, 200 pieces an hour. Uh, Yeah, that's really good. I have a high puzzle average. No, don't applaud. I don't know what you're working with puzzle average wise, but I'm killing puzzles at the moment. Like if you guys are having trouble with the puzzle, hit me up, I'll be over there. I'll finish it two to three hours, two to three hours. If you got the corners done, 30 minutes tops. I'll just close in on that puzzle. And you'll be like, is this kid autistic? And I'm definitely on the spectrum for sure. I feel that people have said that to my face and I'm like, okay, maybe, yeah, you're right. You're, I'm wrong. And, my only problem with puzzles, I don't know what to do with them when you're done with them. Like, I didn't want to break it up and put it back in the box, and I didn't have Wi-Fi, so I had to go to the local library to Google. Uh, <laughs> and because I like to use the resources available to me in my municipality. Uh, so I Googled what to do with a puzzle when you're done with it. And I found this product on Amazon. Yeah, it's called Puzzle Glue. It's a pretty straightforward product. Uh, <laughs> It's pretty straight. If you don't get it from its name, what you do is, with the is you use the puzzle glue, okay? And then you glue the puzzle. And you frame it and you put it on your wall and people are doing it. It's a popular product. Uh, they have 4.5 stars, 4.5 stars, 44 reviews. 44, 44 reviews, 44, 44 different people. 44 separate individuals were like, I have to review this. I have to. They're all named Carol. Um, I read every review, I read every review. My favorite review was, out of all the puzzle glue I've tried, <laughs> puzzle glue was by far the best. I was like, okay, that's a good review. I bought puzzle, I framed, I framed five puzzles and then I moved them to my girlfriend and she's like, you're not putting that on my wall. And I was like, you don't get it. Like, you don't know art. Like, <laughs> these are Gavin originals. <laughs> I live with my girlfriend now. It's cool. It's just like a lot of eye contact. Uh, that's all living with somebody, as I learned. It's just like more eye contact. Like before, we didn't live together. Not that much eye contact. Now we live together. There's like 120% more eye contact. <laughs> like we live in a one-bedroom apartment. Not a lot of corners. <laughs> not a lot of corners. But around every corner, it's just like more eye contact. <laughs> 
I'm like, are you a cat? Stop looking at me, please. Like we made eye contact during sex and I'm retired. I retired, I don't need it or want it. Like we made eye contact. We made eye contact during sex and then I just said, what? <laughs> just what? <laughs> like I got caught snacking late at night, just like, what? Like, what, do you want? what? But it was way different, I was inside of her. Uh, <laughs> And that's like the extent of the dirty talk I've ever done in my life is just that single what? Like I don't, I'm, usually I'm just so quiet and I'm fine with that. I've been coming quietly my whole life. Uh, <laughs> like we have a nonverbal agreement to nonverbal sex and it's cool. I, you know what? And I've had sex, with, I, when I started to have sex, once this girl, she said to me uh, after, she was like, you know you can say something. Yeah, if I see something. <laughs> if there's a workplace hazard, I'll let you know. If we're having sex near a puddle or a wobbly ladder, I'm gonna be like, you know what, we're gonna have to get out of here. All right, thanks guys, that was Gavin Matz, you're a lot of fun.